Wearable mob heads and mini blocks that you can put on armor stands are now a thing and available to download from my website right now. But before you go off and do that, you might as well just listen for a minute because there are a couple of catches. These packs require experimental gameplay features. If you're not sure what experimental gameplay features are when you're starting a new world or you're changing the settings on an existing world, if you scroll down far enough, you'll get to a section that says experiments. This top one here called Holiday Creator Features is required for these packs to work. And when you click on it, it will warn you that you can't go backwards. Once you create a world with this on, you can't undo it again. And whilst the experimental features are absolutely brilliant, they don't work on realms or servers, which means these packs that you can download that allow you to wear my mob heads and mini blocks won't work on realms or servers they'll only work on single player worlds which you can open up to your friends via multiplayer but you won't be able to upload these packs to realms or servers until these features come out of experimental mode which i was hoping would be this year although i'm not 100 percent sure it will be now because there doesn't seem to be any sign of these things coming out of experimental mode just yet so let's look at what we've got. These packs are identical to my existing packs and they're actually compatible with them. If you've been using my existing packs on your world, bear in mind my existing packs, you can't put these items on your heads and you can't put them on armor stands. The only way you can do that is with a piston system like this. And that kind of works. You know, that's absolutely fine. Well, that's not what we want. We want to be able to put these things on our heads, or at least you guys want to be able to put these things on your heads. And that's where the custom items come in. Now, before, what we had was each one of these items in my inventory here was actually a spawn egg, which meant we could actually put those spawn eggs inside a mob spawner cage and duplicate our mob heads. These are no longer spawn eggs. These are actually custom items, which are why the experimental features are required because custom items are still held behind experimental mode. And the custom items mean we can put them on our heads and on armor stands as well and still keep them as entities so that we can manipulate them in any way we want. Bear in mind, if you've watched these videos before or if you've already used my packs, you'll know that you can rotate them and position them and resize them using different colors of dice. Now, quite a while ago, I asked you all if you wanted me to make these packs using actual proper mini blocks or if you wanted me to use entities like they were before. And I did a video showing how laggy entities are compared to blocks but the fact that the mini blocks can't be rotated or twisted or changed or manipulated in order to make fun things. And the results were very much split. Lots of people wanted them to be blocks so that they didn't lag out their worlds. And lots of people wanted them to be entities so that they could enjoy, you know, moving them about with dies and spinning them around and making interesting and fun looking things in their world. So because you guys couldn't make a decision, I've decided for you and we're going to keep with entities. And I can hear a lot of people screaming, but the lag, Fogsy No Tail, the lag. Well, there are hundreds of them in this world and there's no lag at all. You actually need like three or four hundred of these things to really have any noticeable lag. But the biggest thing is, let's be honest, if we had these as actual blocks and you put them down and they were just straight on the floor and you couldn't do anything with them, you couldn't sit on it, you couldn't move it about, you couldn't do nothing with it, what are you going to do? You're going to grab yourself an armor stand and you're going to put it on the armor stand and then pose the armor stand so that you can have it positioned how you want to. Which means you've gone from having a block to having an entity and a block. And I know what some of you will go, yes, but what you've got is entities already and you're putting those entities on an armor stand. Well, no, that's not actually the case. This is a block on the floor. What I have in my hand is an item. I'm actually putting the item on an armor stand, which means it's no more laggy having this on an armor stand as an entity as it is having a natural mini block on an armor stand. So if you're using armor stands with these things, it doesn't matter whether they're mini blocks or entities, they're going to have the same amount of lag, which unless you're playing on a potato is not that bad. I use these on all of my realms and patron servers and nobody is knocking down my door telling me it's too laggy and we need to get rid of the mini block. So I really wouldn't worry about lag. Just enjoy the fact that you can now be even more creative than you could before because you can put these things on the armor stands directly and on your head and you can run around looking like you're a spaceman. Amazing. 
So as I said before, this works completely compatibly with my original mini blocks and my original mob heads packs. If you've got those, all you need to do is swap those pack files out for these ones and enable the experimental features and they will work. And you still buy the mini blocks from the Wandering Trader, although you're getting items instead of spawn eggs now. And to get the mob heads, you just need some mobs. So let's grab a pig and chop his head off and you'll see in my inventory I now have a pig head, which means I can become a pig. And you'll notice that the pig is actually wearing my hoodie i've made the heads so that they actually sit inside the hat layer because i thought that would be more fun and it makes the heads actual proper size rather than being oversized as well and all of the heads are wearable and all of the unique and custom shapes that we've got like the iron golem and the witch also work let's grab this witch here and put her on my head and now you will see i'm a witch wearing a hoodie as the hoodie goes around the back of the witch's head. It's absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic. It works absolutely beautifully. You can still send them into space with a fishing rod. That's not a bug in the pack. That is a bug with Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But, you know, just don't send them into space with a fishing rod and you'll be good. So one question I get an absolute ton when I make this video is once you've placed it, how do you pick it up? I can't mine it. How are you supposed to do it? You just literally shift and then right click on it so shift and right click and it will pop off the item will pop off and you can collect that again and you can do that with all of them the mini blocks as well and the reason it's like that is just so you don't accidentally go around and delete all of the fun things that you created yeah it's just more fun that way and also you can't use uh, pickaxe on entities so you know that wouldn't work so there we go, 100% wearable and poseable mini blocks and mob heads available for download right now from foxynotel.com. What are you waiting for? Go and grab them right now. Do it.